We've all been there, you know, that 8 a.m. class where every minute feels like an hour. You try to focus, but your brain has other plans. Suddenly, your mind drifts away from class and you find yourself in another place, another tab. And then it happens. You stumble upon the ultimate distraction, Sudoku. At first, it's all fun and games. You're filling in numbers left and right, feeling like a Sudoku prodigy, but then reality hits. Sudoku isn't just a game. It's a mind-bending puzzle that can drive even the most rational person insane. And that's when you realize Sudoku might be the most infuriating thing you've ever encountered. But fear not, my friend. I have the perfect solution for you. Introducing the Sudoku Solver Algorithm. With just a few lines of code, you can input any Sudoku puzzle and watch as the algorithm works its magic. Whether you're a Sudoku novice or a seasoned puzzler, this algorithm has you covered. No more frustration, no more endless guessing, just pure solving power at your fingertips. So here's how it works. Before we begin solving, let's understand the rules of Sudoku. The board can be broken down in rows, columns, and 3x3 subgrids. Each row, column, and 3x3 subgrid has 9 boxes, each of which contain unique digits from 1 to 9. The puzzle starts with some cells pre-filled with numbers while others remain empty. To solve Sudoku, we have to place unique numbers into the empty cells while making sure there are no repeated numbers in any rows, columns, or subgrids. There are two important functions to implementing Sudoku solver algorithm. The first one is the valid move function, and the second is recursive solve. First, the valid move function checks the row, column, and 3 by 3 subgrid to confirm the validity of a number placement. The function checks if any number already exists in the row. It does so by scanning through the row, ensuring that the number is not in the row. Then it repeats the same thing with the column, making sure the number is also not in the column. And finally, it repeats the exact same process for a 3 by 3 subgrid by iterating over its three rows and three columns. If the number is found in any of these three, it returns false, otherwise it returns true. With the valid move function in place, we employ the recursive solve function to systematically fill in the Sudoku board. Starting with the first empty cell, recursive solve attempts to place numbers from 1 to 9 and recursively calls itself to solve the remaining puzzle. If a solution is found, recursive solve returns true and displays the solved puzzle. However, if no solution exists for the current configuration, it backtracks and tries another number. This iterative process continues until the solution is found or all possibilities are exhausted. Let's demonstrate the Sudoku solver algorithm with an example puzzle. Here's a sample Sudoku puzzle represented as a 9x9 grid with empty cells denoted by zeros. If it runs correctly, the algorithm outputs the solved Sudoku puzzle as shown. So how long does this algorithm take? In the worst case scenario, where we have to try all the different number possibilities in each cell, the time complexity is O of 2 to the n squared. The reason why it's so bad is because of the nature of backtracking, which is a depth first search method where it explores all the possibilities in a branch before moving on to another branch. In the worst case scenario, the algorithm needs to explore all possible combinations of numbers for each empty cell in the Sudoku grid. For each empty cell, there are n possible numbers to consider, typically n equal to 9 for a standard Sudoku puzzle. If an n by n grid has n squared empty cells, then the total number of possibilities is n squared. This results in a running time of n squared to the n squared, or n to the 2n squared and we can denote this first n as a constant 2 to get a running time of O of 2 to the n squared. With this algorithm, you can tackle even the hardest of Sudoku puzzles. Gone are the days where you tear your hair out in the middle of class and say hello to anger-free distractions.